what's up, yo, it's so, it's fun, joke, it's fun, joke, God. <laughs> That's right, everyone. Uh, J-Man is apparently now quite proud of his joke thievery, and I have been reduced from jokester to joke guy. But that's just fine. We're just having fun here, folks. It's uh, 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 a laugh a minute, no matter what's happening on this couch. Mark, have fun. Bad. No. Good. That's right. We keep tr we keep thinking we're gonna watch some bad movies, but they always turn out to be good lately. That's right, folks. We've returned once again with our unique brand of film criticism to tell you all about the latest uh, big animated crossover film, straight out of nowhere. Scooby Doo meets Courage, the Cowardly Dog. And this is uh, this is a, a presentation Jason was waiting all summer for, and they announced it earlier in the year, and he was. He loves Courage, he loves Scooby. J-Man, what'd you think? Uh, what was your, what's your, what was your overall impression of Scooby Meets Courage? Was great. <laughs> I don't, they don't, uh, they don't make it too difficult. Uh, it just kind of starts off in the Scooby-Doo and his band of uh, Mary do-gooders are <laughs> apprehending someone and suddenly Scooby uh, is overcome with some with he hears the courage music some of the courage music in his head and he's compelled to run all the way to nowhere which is the town where courage lives I guess he he received the secret canine signal or something getting your fur all over my seat and slobbering all over the place don't touch nothing stupid dogs I don't slobber much. <laughs> <laughs> and there are all these. Oh, go ahead. Wife, giant cicada. That's right. That's right. I think it's the giant cicadas that are causing the the noise or the disruption, actually, that that are is bothering both Scooby and Courage and the other giant cicadas. And so the, the Scooby gang follows their uh, intrepid dog to nowhere, and they meet Courage and Eustace and, and Muriel. Um, and they try to figure out what's, uh, what's up with these, these giant cicadas that seem to be terrorizing nowhere, especially uh, the, the farm where Courage lives. J-Man, what do you think, what was your favorite part of, uh, of Courage and Scooby? Charles. Turns back to Yeah, uh, spo spo spoiler alert. Mama should put a spoiler alert ahead of that. Um, yeah, they bring back some of the uh, classic Courage villains uh, who, uh, you know, turns out they're in disguise. Oh, you know what else is it? So, you know, we watch these Scooby Doo movies because Jason enjoys them. And, uh, you know, I always, they, lately, you know, the other one we saw was, uh, recently was Scooby-Doo goes to Loch Ness and they meet the Loch Ness Monster. And I couldn't believe in that one that they brought, they shipped their mystery machine van to Scotland, which to me was like, that's so, where are these, I guess the Scooby-Doo people are all trust fund kids, uh, independently wealthy. Then in this one, in Scooby-Doo Meets Courage, they've modified the mystery machine, so it's kind of like the Batmobile, and it has like a grappling hook and booster rockets and all this crazy stuff. Um, that was pretty crazy. Uh, I'm going on this tangent because uh, I thought Scooby and Courage, it was just, it was alright. It was cute. I wasn't blown away, I was expecting cra crazier, I feel like, you know what my big complaint with this movie is, Jason? I don't, I feel like they didn't let Courage talk enough. Courage was kind of speaking to Scooby in the in the dog in their dog languages. And Scooby was talking to him, and Courage was doing his like. Wah, 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 wah. He didn't do enough of that normal like. Oh, the things I do for love. Oh! Velma. She said, "Dead. Dead to the source. Yes." Uh, Muriel. Uh, right? Am I wrong? Or is... Now, how would you rate 
and straight out of nowhere, Scooby Doo meets Curse the Cowardly Dog. What rating would you give it? In the fan. Stop. Infinity stars. Now let's remind everybody that your scale is a little wacky. Who else do you think Scooby Doo should meet, like in future uh, adventures? What characters should he meet, and ha and have and solve mysteries with? The Nami. <laughs> the Namis. Om Nom. Yeah. Stop. Hey, buddy. Stop tuning now. What did? <laughs> So you think Scooby should meet Om Nom? All the... No. All the Namis, all the characters from the mobile game you like, Om Nom. Is there anybody more famous maybe he could hang out with? What if Scooby-Doo met the Koopalings? <laughs> what do you think would happen? <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't give me a harder time, Jay, about not really, you know, you, off camera you love to yell at me for not liking Scooby-Doo too much. I appreciate you not embarrassing me here on the video. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Like, dig this, yappy dog. We'll handle all the creepy villain angles on this network. Well, happy dog. <laughs> <laughs>